So good evening everybody and welcome to Enigma Day number 20 something. Uh, today we do have an actual special guest um, and the reason she's special is because she's not a string player. Um, she is Susan Lankin Hoffman Watts and um, we're delighted to welcome her and without further ado, Susan in Philly, um, do you have a niggin for us, a niggin of the day? I do. Well, since somebody wanted to hear my trumpet, I'll play it on my trumpet first and then, and then we can learn it together and singing it. How does that sound? Okay. I know bits of it differently, so please teach it to us. Oh, okay. Okay. So the first part is very simple. Die, 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 die. And then it answers. Yeah, die, 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 die. And then you have the first thing again. Yeah, die, 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 die. And here's the answer to that. Die, die, die. It does the same thing over again. Die, 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 die. And it answers. Die, 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 die. And the first thing again. Die, 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 die. And the answer. Die, die, die. So that first part. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Okay. The second part. So again. The next two measures. And then it's the same thing again. So that second that second part is I can 
sing that with me. Da 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 da. Again. Da 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 da. And then it finishes itself. Da 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 da. That's easy. You can do that. Da 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 da. So the whole the whole second part is da 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 so the whole thing sung from the beginning and we can with with those first eighth note rests to it all thank day. you is there a particular thank you that one is it where did you learn that one i learned well that one is i found it in several different books but i learned it in a book and from a book of like It's klezmer tunes, Yiddish tunes. It was one of those like fake books, like a Jewish gig fake book. It was a hardcover book. A good I don't book. think if I, I don't remember if it's a Jewish music or Yiddish music or something like that. And there was all sorts of different things in this book. And that was uh, one of the niggins in the book. The, the, uh, the other niggin that I'm going to teach is also in that book. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, if you want me to do another one, of course. Um, but but I've found them in other books. I I, I found that that niggin in, in in another book. But I've known it for a while. But it's really fun. It's a great one. And when you um, go looking for new repertoire, do you delve into the family archive usually, or do, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit about the the music that you have around you and the different collections of music would be interesting to sure well i have i definitely have my great grandfather's music there are no niggins in there there's nothing that says knee there's nothing there's all sorts of other things but not niggins um could you say a little bit more about that collection just for the people who don't know about it oh well it's my great-grandfather joseph hoffman and he has he has uh, some books that he penned for his children who were all musicians in all the three different keys b flat c and e flat of 
of all the tunes that they would need to know for a gig. And it was all Yiddish tunes. It was all Jewish music um, and stuff from the Ukraine and concert marches and, and, and concert prelogues and um, uh, matros dances and waltzes and, and um, potespans and gallops and uh, hungas, krakowiaks, uh, freilers, hosedos. Um, what am I missing? I don't think you've missed anything, except nigunim, of course. <laughs> uh, uh, there's no nigunim. There's, there's um, some terrace and brand wine in there. Um, there's Philadelphia, original Philadelphia, um, Klezmer tunes by Philadelphia area band leaders. Um, there's stuff that my great grandfather wrote. And um, it's, you know, there's some, there's some American Klezmer in there, not much, because it was early when he wrote it, it was 1927. Um, and, um, but a lot of the stuff is from, you know, he learned how to play the cornet in the Russian army. So there's a lot of marches in the Russian marches. Um, so it's a great book that I'm working on getting. Incredible. And, um, do you use it a lot of your own repertoire or do you prefer to use other, other sources when you're putting together a gig? I have used yeah, I have used it a lot. I got a lot of repertoire from out of there. Yeah, absolutely. I feel, yes. I feel sorry for Susan. She never had a choice but to be a klezmer with all. all <laughs> I know. I know. There was no. There was no other way for me. <laughs> Luckily for the rest of us, I would say. Yeah. Let's have another song. How do you feel about it? Okay. Okay, should I just sing it? Ready? I think it goes faster. Yam die, 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 That's, you know that one? No. Anybody know that already? Anybody here? No? There's a lot of shaking heads. Great. Another new one. Before, just before Susan oh. asked that tune, does anybody have any questions for her that they'd like to ask at that, this point? No? Not even how's the cheese in Philadelphia? No? 
Nothing <laughs> okay, go for it, Susan. Teach us. Okay. Yang So there's two of the same things after one after the next. Yai die die. And then it does it again. Yai die die. And then it goes up the scale. Die 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 die. And then back down again. So Yan da da yan da da ya da 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 and you go up ya da 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 let's do that together da 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 now you yourself Die, 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 and then it repeats again. Yan die, die, yan die, die, ya, die, 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 So that's how that whole phrase ends. Ya, die, 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 die. You handle that? Ya, die, 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 die. So let's try that first part again. Yai die die yai die die yai die 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 yai die 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 yai die 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 Yum ba da dum bum bum. Yum ba da dum bum bum. You got that? Yum ba da dum bum bum. Yum ba da dum bum bum. Ba da 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 Die, 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 die. So from the beginning of that, yum, da, da, dum, 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 yum, da, da, dum, dum, dum. Die, 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 die. And then it repeats, yum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum, yum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum. Bye, die, 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 so there's the call. And the answer. And the next part. And then the call again. Answer. Yai da 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 Yum ba da lum bum bye, ya ba da ba dum ba da lum dum die. Bye 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 bye, ya ya ba da bye bye. Yum ba da lum dum die, yum ba da die da da da. Yum bye, ay ay ay, ay 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 ay. Yum ba da lum dum die, yum ba da da da. Yum bye, da 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 da, da 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 da
That's it. It's great. It's got everything, that one. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. It's, a, it's an all-inclusive. <laughs> uh, so would you ever sing Nigunim at home with, with your mom and uh, with the family? Was that a thing? No. Klezmer all the way. Klezmer all the way. We weren't singers. There was nobody that sang. Except well, but I wasn't singing then. <laughs> I, was, I was just playing the trumpet. When did you start singing, Susan? I started singing with Frank. Ah, Frank. We saw him the other day. Yeah. Frank, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I started singing. I started singing with the Klezmer Brass All Stars. I sang a little bit with. I didn't sing with Makeva very much, um, but that's when I really first started singing. Was was with Frank. I sang a little bit with my mother, with um, the fabulous Spielkas. Um But generally speaking, it wasn't until later on in life that I started singing. When your voice broke. <laughs> <sighs> yes, when just my voice broke. came to England and we had a little <laughs> tour. Do you remember? It was so long ago now. And we put together the UK plus a couple of foreign all-stars, Klezmer all-stars. <laughs> we it went... was so much fun. You... Mm. What'd you say? We went to Manchester up in, in the north of England. And... <sighs> yeah, so... it was wonderful. It's when I tried to kill That was, was when you tried to kill me? Yeah. I lost Susan on a bridge and we, oh. talked to... we both... <laughs> Hours looking for each Oh, other. right. <laughs> it was before the days of my... I remember that. That was 13 years ago. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, well, we're both still playing. We're both still singing. Well, I'm not singing, but you're singing. So that's the main thing. <laughs> yes. So, um, yes. Anything that you want to tell us about uh, the Philadelphia klezmer scene? as was before the lockdown, what sort of things happen? Because it's so famous as, you know, the home of so many... Well... Well, I mean, Philadelphia was a, a, a town with a lot of Jews in it. And wherever there were Jews, there were Jewish affairs. You know, and you had to have the right kind of music. And so... There were immigrants here from Kervuzer. There was a Kervuzer Landsman shaft here. Um, lots of Ukraine, Ukrainian Jews here in Philadelphia. Um, and so the, the immigrants were rich. The music was rich. There were lots of Jews. There was quite a, a, a vibrant commu Jewish community with commensurate music. Um, and, uh, so that's what made it famous was that, I mean, it's, I guess, I guess in, in, in it's, I don't know much about other cities and, and their Klesmer traditions, but there, there definitely is a vibrant one here in Philadelphia was <laughs> yeah. anymore i do have a couple of questions ernie would you like to unmute yourself and ask ask your question ernie gruner from australia ladies and gentlemen so are you there ernie thank you um susan um yes. i'm you can't see me because i've got a cold and it's early it's sort of early-ish anyway um yeah, yeah. i love that last nigun uh, 
Um, thank you. And I just wondered if you had any ideas about where it came from or any memory of the you referred to earlier on. I, I think it's a Chabad Negin. I'm, I'm not sure. I know it's a Hasidic Negin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know uh, anything other than that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. It's yeah. Eragovsky. The, the informant is totally unknown. The collector is unknown. <laughs> We just know the singer. <laughs> Very good. And Richard also asks, how, how would they have been taught or learned back in the day? Would they have been broken down or would they have been sung whole and absorbed by osmosis? Oh, I think they would have been sung whole and absorbed by osmosis. That's how I learned everything. Yeah. I mean, as a kid, just do repetition. It's quite a new thing, all this breaking things down. Well, when you go to, a, I think it's like when you go to a camp and you're trying to, like, you're actually trying to learn this tune now, you know, as opposed to growing up with it and singing it every Friday night. And, you know, it takes time to, to learn tunes like that. So when you don't have that time and you want to kind of get it quick, that's a way, of, you know, one way of doing it. And of course, it's the great thing way. about Nigunim is that they get repeated a lot, a lot, a lot of times when you're singing them. So, yeah, that's always helps in the learning department. Anybody else got a, a question here? Monica says she likes your singing with the All Stars a lot. Yes. Oh, Lisa, Lisa Gutkin's got a question. Lisa, unmute yourself, please. Hi, Susan. Hi, Bobby. Hi, everybody. You know, when I hear, um, it's, it's nice to hear it this, this close and you singing and me in my own space where I can really, really hear. And, you know, um, the, the, the way you sort of dip into, into a note, I mean, I think it's, it's just natural in the style, but do you ever, do you ever sort of break it down yeah. and think about like the, in, uh, like a tiny internal rhythm within a note, like, bye bye you know where you're you're because i hear so much rhythm within one one note that you sing because you know you're not you're not hitting the note of course we do this with our bows also but you know you, you're not totally um uh hitting a solid note you're sort of dipping into into the the depth of of a note that you're singing is it is it all conscious that how you're doing that rhythmically or or just kind of comes to you well i mean a i'm not sure what you mean about the dipping but b anything um that that i do when i sing it like a nigun or um a chazunis or anything is it really comes out of a lot of listening to Chazunas. Yeah. <laughs> right. um, you know, the thing, the thing about these Nigunim is that, you know, there's two things. There's the way I sang it, which is nice. It's lovely when it's just you, but you can't do that with a group of people. Right. You can't, you know, so that when you hear Nigunim sung, it's usually in groups of people. And they usually are very homophonic. Right. You know, the, it's the same thing. Right. Um, everybody's doing the same thing. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't do those kind kinds of things. The inflection in a group. Yeah. Yeah. Does that but, answer? But your... the... Yeah, it does, but the, but the but I mean I've even heard it some in in group singing. The inflections have so much implied rhythm in them. Mm -hmm. It's it's fascinating to me. You know, it's not die 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 die. You know, it's like die 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 die. You know, like the 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 falling into the note has like a whole rhythmic world in its in its own. So so I I I do understand that you might not. That you might simplify it if you're if you're singing in a big group. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of fascinated by that mm. aspect of. Well, you know, you have you have 
you have your voice doing a lot of work carrying carrying that rhythm around because there's yeah. there's nothing else to do with it except your voice you know and so um i think i think that doing doing niganim singing niganim is a lot more expressive because all the rhythm comes from singing there's no rhythm section right you know, every everything comes from the one voice you know right. the many the one voice so it definitely has to move it along rhythmically and yeah. melodically and spiritually and yeah great thank you Susan, I wonder if we could, I don't know if you've got another one up your sleeve that you could just sing and we could just try and sing along after a couple of times round or whether we should go over the two that we've done already and just have another go. Well, we could have another go. Yeah. Because I'm not sure I, I have another one right at the ready. I, I dusted off two. Sounds good. Let's, can we, can we do them again? You can never do them enough. Okay. Let's do the first one with the clapping. You get you ready, everybody? A one, a two, a ain't spade, drive, fear. Bye, 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 bye,
everybody's there you go there's everybody thank you so much susan it's been a really great session it's really nice just to sing along with the tunes and um really get, get a chance to get into them yeah i hope that worked for you without a violin oh, it's it has to happen sometimes <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant let's ever all give susan one last round of silent applause for Thank you, everybody.